So we're going to make a basic tween here in CS5. I'm going to open a ActionScript 3.0 file. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on the stage. I'm going to use my arrow tool to select it. I'm going to press F8 and convert it to a graphic. You have movie clip button and graphic here. Make sure you have graphic selected. I'm going to make my registration also be in the middle. You can change um, where your registration will be, which will change where it lines up on the motion path that it creates. So you're going to come down to your timeline, click on however long you want your, your uh, tween to be, and push F5. That inserts blank keyframes up to wherever you selected. So I'm going to right click here in the middle and create motion tween. And then you're going to go to wherever you want your first uh, adjustment to be and just move your graphic. You can see it creates a motion path line and automatically makes the uh, adjusted keyframe here. If we want, we can adjust this line. And you can see if I scrub the timeline here that it follows that path. If you want to add another, path, another uh, point, you just go farther down here on the timeline and move the graphic again. I'm going to adjust my path, make it a little crazy, and I'm even going to scale my box here at the end. So I'm going to right click it, go to free transform, and I'm going to scale it down. I'm even going to rotate it. Now you can see it follows the path and rotates and scales down. If you wanted, you could even make this fade out by opening your properties window here. Oh, let me get out of the transform tool. Okay, open the properties window. Under color effect, select alpha. Bring it down to zero. I already had it at zero, but you want to bring it down to zero. And then you can see now that it fades out. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to um, do a test. I'm going to control. Test movie. Test. And you can see. It's following my path, rotating, and fading out. If you want to adjust a little bit of the speed, you can open up your properties. Click here on the timeline first, then open your properties. And then in Ease, you can adjust it to whatever direction you want. Just play with it. Go to negative 100, and I'm pretty sure that slows it down and then speeds it up. So if we test it again, yep, you see it's slower and then it speeds up. And that's that, a basic tween in Flash CS5.